Welcome back. So we'll look into a very good set of optimization. Before going further, I would say that every day I post a LRDI set for practice and the video solution of it. So subscribe to the channel and we'll be doing it till your CAT exam. So it would be helpful for you. Now let's see the set. A newspaper agency conducted a survey in which a reader has to select his first three preference of the newspaper out of the five newspapers. The newspaper are Rajdhani News, Dainik Khabre, Times Capital, Rajdhani Express and Dinra. According to the reader's choice, 5, 3 and 2 points are awarded to the newspaper selected by him at first, second and third preference respectively. Okay. So if a reader selects a newspaper as its first choice, so 5 points would be given to that newspaper. And similarly, if he, he chooses a new newspaper as its second preference, so 3 points would be given to that newspaper. It is also known that every newspaper is selected as, as the first preference by equal number of readers. So every newspaper is selected as the first preference by equal number of readers. Fine. The total points awarded to the five newspapers in the survey are tabulated below. So we know the total points of the five newspaper tabulated. Some of the cells in the following table are left blank intentionally. So some of the cells, these two cells are left blank. Fine. Now, uh, what is the condition or what is the situation? How we can draw a table? Uh, we have a situation in which we have five newspaper. Each newspaper can be given preferences, first preference, second preference and third preference. And a first preference gets a five point, second preference get a three point and a third preference newspaper will get a two, two point if a reader select it. Okay. Now we can easily draw the table. So let me draw the table. The table would be something like this that along this column I can point all the newspapers and along the row will have first preference, second preference, third preference and the total point allotted to each of the newspaper. Now what is given is that it is known that every newspaper is selected as the first preference by equal number of readers. So first preference is selected by equal number of readers. So let's suppose X reader selects RN, okay, that is Rajdhani News as its first preference so that uh, and so would be the X number of readers selecting DK that is Dani Khabre and similarly TC, RE and DN. Fine. So how many readers would be there altogether? How many readers would be there altogether? It is also clearly mentioned that, you know, a reader can only select a newspaper only one newspaper as its first preference that is very <coughs> a common sense that you can apply definitely right that if you are given a choice you'll always select one newspaper as your first preference that is what a preference means so altogether how many readers are there so readers are total 5x right because x readers are selecting rajdhani news as its first preference x readers are selecting dani khabra as its first preference so altogether we'll have 5x readers uh, altogether right now this 5x reader altogether would also give its second preference but we do not know how many readers would give second preference to rajdhani news or dk or tc or re or dn but we clearly know that there would be 5x number of readers who would be going for the pre second preference because every reader has to select first preference second preference and third preference that is clearly mentioned it is not that a reader would select only first preference and leave and and will not have an option of or will not select any second preference or third preference newspaper he has to select first preference second preference and third preference so altogether there would be 5x similar 5x number of people that was so the number of people who was selecting first preference would be same for uh, second preference and same for the third preference and this is the same okay that is an important point to note because uh, initially if you would have struggled with this set uh, you won't be able to make the point unless and until you draw the table now total points are given so let me write it down that is 150 the blank 128 and then we have 142 and this is again a blank now for first preference the point allotted is 5 for third preference the point allotted is 3 for third preference, the point allotted is 2. So what would be the total point in this survey? What would be the total point that would be given in this survey? It would be 5x into 5, that is 25x, right? Plus 5x into 3, that is 15x. 
and 5x into 10 into 2 that would be 10x so the total point that would be allotted in this survey would be how much it is 40 and 10 that is 50x so the total point allotted in this survey would be a multiple of 50 because x is the number of readers and they cannot be in fraction so the total points allotted in this survey would be 50x that is for sure okay now one more thing that we can make or we can see if you observe the table that the minimum point uh, that dk and dn would score is 5x because he is definitely having x number of readers selecting its first preference so minimum point if let's suppose we name it as a and b so the minimum value of a and b minimum okay a and b minimum would be 5x this much is clear okay uh, that is now let's see the question first question says that if the total points awarded out of the five newspaper is not maximum for rn so 150 is not maximum so 120 is definitely less and this is also less so either a or b would be greater than 150 fine is not maximum for rn then find the minimum number of readers covered in the survey so we need to find or we need to minimize the total number of readers covered in the survey what is the total number of readers in the survey the total number of readers is 5x right because 5x are uh, readers are selecting first preference the similar readers will select as uh, second preference and so on the third preference so 5x is the total number of uh, readers so the number of readers would definitely be in multiple of 5 so this option d can easily be eliminated because it is not a multiple of 5 but all the other three options are multiple of 5. Now, what is the condition that? Condition is that uh, either A or B would be greater than 150. Fine. Now, let's sum this number. Uh, sum the numbers that we have. 150, 128 and 142. 8 plus 2 is 10. Carry 1. This would be 6 plus 2. 8. 8 plus 2, uh, 4 is 2. Okay. So, this is 420 plus a plus b so making the calculation very complex can i write a plus b equals to k trying to ease the calculation okay a plus b equals to k so this 50x that is the total number of points would equals to 420 plus k now as we have seen that the total points would be definitely a multiple of 50 so in order to make the total number of points multiple of 50 and also we know that a and b one of them a and b would definitely be greater than 150 okay so what is the minimum value of k that we can do we can take with a hit and trial we can definitely make k uh, will not will try to or this 50x would equals to we cannot take it to 500 because k would be a, uh, k would be 80 that is not possible because a plus b which is equals to k one has to be greater than 150 so the minimum value of k that we can do with a hit and trial basis uh, that it is 600 now let's check that if it is 600 then x what x we get we get x equals to 12 and k equals to what k equals to uh, 180 right k equals to 180 and x equals to 2. Now k is what summation of a and b. k is what summation of a and b. Now one of them has to be greater than uh, rn. So let's suppose if 1 is 151, the other would be 29, right? If a is or b is 151, then a or b would be 29. But if x equals to 12, what is the minimum value of a or b? it is 5x 12 into 5 would be 60 so they are not taking into consideration of the minimum value so we are not getting the minimum value of one of them right so we cannot take k equals to 180 so this hit and trial we cannot take this value what is the nearest again the other value that we can take we can try to make this again a multiple of 50 and the the next multiple would be 650 in this case k would equals to how much 180 plus 50 that is 230 now in this case what would happen is that let's see if we are able to satisfy the condition that is 151 and the other number would be 79 
Now, what would be the value of x? Value of x is 13. Now, let's check the minimum value. The minimum value is 65. Okay, A or B would have, it is greater than 79. So, this is a possibility, right? So, yes, uh, x equals to 13 would satisfy the condition or the minimum condition. If x equals to 13, the minimum number of people surveyed would be 13 into 5, that is 5x, that is 65. So, C is the answer. Now, question number 2 is direct continuation of question number 1. Let's see that, how it is. Uh, question number 2 says, if Dani Khabre is the newspaper with the maximum points. So, Dani Khabre was the newspaper with maximum points. In the first question, it says it can be either of them, A or B. right? So, it is saying that Dani Khabre is the news with the maximum number of points and the reader covered in the survey is minimum possible. So, this, what is mentioned over here, the readers covered in the survey is minimum possible. So, we can easily apply this. Uh, values that we have got that x would be 13 k would be 230 then what is the total point din rat cannot be more than so what is the maximum point that din rat can have din rat means the value of p okay so this is getting maximum and we need to find the maximum possible value of b so in order to find the maximum possible value of b we'll get we'll try to put the minimum possible value of a taking into consideration that dani khabre is maximum so maximum was 151 and the maximum uh, minimum was 151 and it was maximum of all okay it was it is the minimum value of dani khabre but it is maximum of all so the maximum possible value of dinrath would be 79 i hope this is clear okay so these two questions done now let's see the third question third question says that if rajdhani news in the paper with maximum point so this is the maximum point so this condition would not go so let me erase this uh, okay this need to be erased that's all we are completely comfortable with whatever we have as of now if rajdhani news in the paper with maximum points so 150 would be maximum value then find the range of the people covered in the survey so we need to find the range of the people what is the range range is nothing but minimum to maximum value okay minimum to maximum value now, uh, we need to find the range of the people covered in the survey. We know that the number of people covered in the survey is always a multiple of 5. So, we can definitely not have 53 because the smallest value cannot be 53 because it's not a multiple of 5. So, this option can easily be negated. This option can easily be negated because these are not multiple of 5. Now, we are just left with two options, 55 and 60. Now, we need to find the range. Range is nothing but the minimum to maximum value. So, we can cross check with 55 is does 55 satisfy the given condition or not so if the number of people is 55 it means that 5x equals to 55 now if 5x equals to 55 x equals to 11 then this 50x would equals to 550 when x equals to 11 then the value of k that we'll get is 130 the value of x that we got is 130 okay now we know that this is the maximum a and b so we have to add we have to see that if a and b that is k is nothing but summation of a and b and minimum value of a and b is 5x so are we satisfying the minimum value of a plus b ka minimum value if a and b minimum value is 5x a plus b ka minimum value would be 10x and x equals to 11 so 11 into 10 is 110 so yes we are satisfying the minimum value so yes 55 would be the correct answer or this range 55 could be taken so 55 to 70 would be the correct answer now let's uh, look into question number four question number four says that if times capital in the newspaper is with minimum points times capital and this is minimum so let me erase this let's make it little clear now the fourth question says that the time capital in the newspaper is with minimum points then find the minimum readers covered in the survey so times capital is minimum that is 128 is minimum so a and b would definitely be greater than 128 so a would be definitely greater than or equal to 129 similarly b would definitely be greater than or equal to 129 then k which is a plus b would definitely be greater than or equal to twice of 129 that is 129 258 okay so we know that k would definitely be greater than 
we have this condition now what could be the least multiple of 50 uh, for this equation uh, keeping the condition that k equals to 2 or greater than or equal to 258 so the least value of k or this complete 50x or the multiple of 50 would be 420 plus 258 so that would be 700 okay so in this case if this is 700 the value of k would be 280 now i have to see that if i am is it violating any of the condition no it won't violate it it will definitely not violate 5x you can cross check even that if 50x equals to 70 is 700 then x equals to 14 and minimum value is 5x that is 70 70 of course you have taken that it is greater than 120 so that does not make any sense to cross verify it so the value of or this 700 would be the minimum value of the total number of points then in that case x would equals to 14 then the total number of members would be 5x that is 5 into 14 that makes it to 70 so this is the minimum number of persons surveyed so b is the correct answer hope you have understood it now let's summarize this set the uh, in uh, in order to summarize this set what is the most important point first was to draw this table which every one of you could do that each of the newspaper first preference second preference and third preference the good part or the most key point to understand is that 5x would be the total number of readers and if 5x are the total number of readers then this would be the same for uh, you know uh, num this total number of readers giving the sec second preference would be same this is the same total number of readers giving the same third preference then summing up the total number of points and optimizing it according to the quotient hope you have understood it thank you